Alright guys, what's up, and uh, today I'm going to be making a tutorial on my render settings for my HD PVR, um, because I got a couple messages saying um, to make a tutorial, because I have found some pretty good settings that uh, don't have a huge file size, but uh, they still are um, pretty big file size, but uh, they have really good quality. So, um, what you're going to want to do first is obviously go into your capture module for ArcSoft, which is the software that comes with the PVR. And uh, what you're going to want to do is go to the device settings. And uh, over here for the brightness is 128, contrast 128, hue 128, saturation 128, and sharpness 153. Um, and that is about it for that one. You might want to turn your sharpness up a little bit, or your saturation up a little bit. But um, that's about it. That's all I use. And uh, go ahead and hit apply and OK. And then for your format settings, you're going to click on that and this should pop up you're gonna want to set this all the way to 13.5 mbps and then you're gonna hit you make this constant bitrate the luma and the chroma both three and um, use AC3 audio encoder instead of AAC um, and that's about it you're gonna hit apply and okay for that also and um, there you go this is how it should look it's not gonna look um, too much different but trust me it will once you're done recording and then over here a lot of people are like oh well look at this I'm recording an Xbox 360 so let me just click that and record and that is not it I have no idea why they even named these because PlayStation 3 is M2TS and Xbox is MP4 and neither file neither file uh, format has anything to do with a PS3 or an Xbox so pretty much, um, if you're recording an MP4, um, that will make it very laggy on your computer. If you don't have a really good computer, then uh, in Sony Vegas, your preview screen will be very laggy, and um, it will not give you that much better quality. So I just go ahead and record in PlayStation 3, which is just completely not relevant to PlayStation 3. It's just a different format, which is M2TS. And um, so yeah, after you're done with that, just capture anything you want, and... Um, I'll be back on Sony Vegas. Alright guys, so once we're on Sony Vegas, you're going to just go ahead and go to your videos. And then, or wherever you save yours to, and this is going to be mine. And it's just me on Favela shooting my car around like an idiot, but you know. Um, so, wow, I'm, I'm actually getting ahead of myself, my bad. Um, Alright, so once you have gotten your clip into here, and ignore what I'm doing right here, I'm just undoing everything I just did. Um, so once you get your clip into here, what you and the reason my audio is like this is because I have Turtle Beaches and I turn my, um, my settings really down, uh, my gameplay volume really down so I can hear everyone. But, um, so what you're going to do once you get this in here is you're going to right click it and automatically go to switches and uncheck to maintain aspect ratio and then you're going to right click it again and uncheck disable or check disable resample and uh, instead of smart resample so that'll be it for that um, and then you're going to go ahead and go to your pan and crop and crop it down to get the black lines out of there just make it all perfect um, and I already have a preset for that and so once you're done with that, that'll be um, that'll be it for the pan and cropping and all that. I'm gonna go up here to project properties, and um, I have a setting. I have a preset right here called HD PVR. And what you're gonna want to do is just copy this down completely. Um, the width and the heights, 1280 by 720 frame rate, double NTSC. Um, and you can just pause the video and see all this. Um, and a lot of people, instead of the field over being lower first or upper field first, a lot of people put none progressive scan. And if you do hit apply, it does make it a lot more, um, a lot more sharper, and it does look a little better. But once you've uploaded it to YouTube, it makes it um, kind of pixely and not too much, not too good. So I leave it at lower field first, and it's a uh, very smooth throughout the video. So I like that. Um, so. Yeah, pretty much. Once you're done with that, you can just go ahead and hit apply and OK. And this is how your video should look so far. And if I put this in preview full and whoopsie scale video, this is how it should look. And um, looking pretty good. So um, now what you're going to want to do is add your color corrections and um, all that good stuff. 
and mine are pretty simple um, I just add a brightness and contrast so it's gonna hit reset to none I have a preset and you can just copy that down brightness 0 0.09 contrast 0 0.17 and contrast center 0 0.79 and um, that's it for that so once you've added that you're gonna go to color corrector secondary and just add in a reset to none and I have a preset and it's gonna change nothing but the saturation to 1.3 instead of 1.0 and it adds it just just a little bit of color which makes it a little bit better and then you're gonna come down to sharpen and just add in a reset to none and that's it for the settings and all that stuff and um, so what you're gonna do after that is you're going to go to file render as and um, you're gonna come down here to save as type and Windows Media Video 11 and um, then you're gonna go for your template just hit anything um, doesn't matter because you're gonna be changing everything so just click on any of the templates and then go to custom and audio leave exactly the same I don't change the audio at all um, but you guys can just look at these and copy these exactly and then go over to video go to CBR for mode, um, for format, Windows Media Video 9, and image size, do not go to custom and then 1280 by 720 just click on high definition, 1280 by 720 and then pixel aspect ratio 1, and 59.94 double NTSC for frame rate, and seconds per keyframe 3, default override, or override default compression buffer 5 seconds, and 100% sharpest. And for bitrate, I put 13.5. Um, I, I believe you can put 8 also and it looks pretty good, but um, I don't know mine, I've just been looking really good with 13.5. So after that, you're going to come over here to project settings and instead of use project settings, just hit best and go ahead and save and that's it. Now hit OK and go ahead and render that out and your quality should look pretty good. And um, it might have a kind of medium to high size file size, but it'll be... Um, pretty crisp quality so thanks for watching guys uh don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and i'll have a lot of commentaries up pretty soon for you guys so peace